What's up guys, Mills and Monkey here. Today I'm back with another episode of Squad Builder and I'm just going to apologise before I actually uh, start the video. There's no clips at the end of this video. I did have a whole bunch of clips of this team, uh, as you'll see when I go through like the players and the goals and stuff. But unfortunately I deleted the wrong folder when I went to delete previous clips to clear up some space on my hard drive. So unfortunately the clips for this team are lost and I have some really great girls, goals with them as well. Really nice team. Uh, so this is a bronze hybrid. I actually started making it on stream, and on paper it looks pretty shit. There's uh, a poor right back, a poor right mid, and a few debatable players in there. The defence overall I'd say is very good, and what people would say is a very bad goalkeeper, uh, looking at them just on the cards. But, I th this is kind of restored by faith in Ultimate Team up until the last two games, which I'll explain in a little while. So I'm unbeaten in... This, uh, with this team, um, apart from two games, which has been my last two games on FIFA, I'll explain a little bit. So I get into the team, uh, there's a very American uh, themed defence um, and centre mid, so we'll start with the goalkeeper. It is Paul Rajivka from Leeds United. In real life, last season, which is uh, probably the last time he played, he was absolutely shit. One of the worst goalkeepers I've seen perform uh, for Leeds last year. 800 coins, 6 foot 1, and it's got some decent stats. And it's just in there for an Empower Championship link with Will Packwood and a United States link with Opara. He's really good. <laughs> I don't know how it, how FIFA judged this, but he's absolutely awesome on this game for me. Um, I don't know what it is. He just seems to stop the majority of shots up until the last two games. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. So, a really good goalkeeper. Right back, we have Paul Caddis from Birmingham City. Now, this Birmingham City is, of course, my uh, favourite club, my cl the club that I support. And he cost me 200 coins. And you may think that I'm going to be a little bit biased uh, and say that he's very good. But he genuinely is. Um, what you want from a right back is someone that's quick and can uh, outdo the wingers. And... He's not quick at 70 pace, he's not blisteringly quick, but he does a good job there. Um, he's very, very solid, and I often find that um, the, the defence is very defensive, uh, in that Paul Caddis doesn't get called upon all too much from the wings. So, um, he's just very, very solid, and I definitely recommend trying him. Now, a centre-back you probably will have used before, if you've used an Empire Championship team, is Will Packwood. Uh, recently broke his leg, a really bad leg break. Um, against Leeds in Birmingham City's FA Cup third round tie. Uh, an absolute dreadful injury. He's a 19-year-old uh, centre-back. I think he was playing uh, sort of a sweeper role in that game, though. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, but he had a really good game, and he's a very young uh, upcoming defender for Birmingham. And he's six foot four. cost me 200 coins. And he's got 71 pace, 60 defending, 64 heading. Absolutely unreal defender. Solid as a rock. But he is nowhere near the guy next to him. This is Opara. I've had him in my club for ages. Paid 25,000 coins for him. Probably a lot less now, if I'm perfectly honest. 6 foot 2, 81 pace, 63 defending, 75 heading. Wow. This guy is so, so good. From corners. I don't know how he's not scored more for me from corners. He's missed quite a few uh, sitters and hit the bar numerous amount of times. He is ridiculous in defence. Honestly, if he wasn't a bronze... I could, if, if he didn't have that bronze on his card and he was in a gold team, I'd say he was gold. He's that good. He really is absolutely amazing. I would 100% recommend him. And to get nine chemistry with him uh, is uh, Corey Ash. Uh, yeah, it's Corey Ash from Houston Dynamo. 89 pace left back. is very, very attacking. Paid 5,200 coins for him. He's very attacking, but he doesn't seem to get caught at the back. Um, and when he does attack, he is very, very good. I must admit that... Um, his attacking play is uh, that of a left wing rather than a left back. So we'll just do the centre mid then. The only real um, links with the defence left um, apart from the um, right mid who I'll get into in a second. Balchan. This is from Columbus Crew. He's 6 foot. Cost me 200 coins. And uh, has 84 pace. 66 defending. 56 heading. Now, apart from his pace, it doesn't look like he's got a lot going for him, but honestly, he's really, really good. I, honestly, I found a few gems in this team, and there's one specific gem that I'm going to be doing a separate video on. 
Um, so Rich Balchan, he's got absolutely everything. He's got pace to be able to get back and defend, but pace to come forward as well. His work rates just seem to be perfect. He always seems to be in centre mid, right where you want him. He always seems to be able to drop back in defence if he's needed into a CDM role. But if called upon in attack, he'll always be there. But he mostly just sits behind the cams, which is exactly where you want him. Uh, just to provide a little bit of support if there's no pass up open uh, up front. So the right mid, look at this guy, you think he looks absolutely shit. This is Peter Powlett from St Johnston. 200 coins he cost me, 3 star skills, 5 foot 10, 77 pace, 65 dribbling. The only real good stats on his card. 77 pace isn't that quick at right mid, but my god this guy is good. He's extremely technical. Um, he just seems to be... A player that works in Ultimate Team. I mean, if you look at his goal scoring record from right mid, for me it's been uh, 3 in 11. That's really 3 in 8 because of the games that I've, uh, I got quit out of and things like that. Um, sorry, that's really 3 in 8. Yeah, I said that, didn't I? Yeah. But uh, you can see for his previous club as well, he played 8 games and scored 4 goals. And you can't argue with that. He scores a lot of goals. He's technically amazing. I mean, if you can cope without using the pace on this game, um, this is why this this team has restored a little bit of faith in FIFA for me. Um, he's just really, really good. Apart from the defence, they're quite pacey. But yeah, he's just so, so good. Such a technical player. His finish is absolutely outstanding. Would really like to see his in-game stats. He's just really cannot fault him. And he's uh, very, very young as well. Um, Realise he's only 22 years old. So he may be a good player for the future, maybe in the Scottish League. So moving on to the first cam, gets the strong link with the striker. It is Armstrong from Dundee United. Stuart Armstrong, 78 pace is really all he's got going for him, you think? But he's not. He's a, a very good cam. He's more there as a support, supporting uh, attacker. Again, a very young player in real life, 950 coins. He's 6 foot tall with 78 pace, so uh, he's not all too bad. Um, he can play a pass or two, trust me, um, over the top especially. Uh, and he's very good at holding up the ball and uh, using the other cams um, as, uh, as players to look for in attack. So the left mid is uh, Gazelle, or Gazelle from Leon. He's got four star skill moves and unfortunately a two star weak foot. He's left footed so most of the time you're going to have to run down the wing rather than cutting inside and shooting with him. But he scored a cracking goal for me. I wish I had it in the uh, highlights um, but unfortunately I lost the goals and honestly it was such a good goal. Um, he's six foot tall with 76 pace and 74 dribbling. Can't argue with that. Three thousand coins it cost me and he scored three goals in 11 games and uh, has been solid although I must say Fluda did say he was dreadful so Fluda you're wrong next player you will know I'm sure you will Yassine Benzia from FC Lyon or Olympic Lyonnais um, 5 foot 10 78 pace 77 dribbling 4 star skills 4 star weak foot 16,000 coins and worth every penny absolutely amazing I think this guy at striker would be really really good scored seven goals in eight games because of the 11 um, games that I haven't really played uh, and it's been absolutely amazing now the star player of this team Milos Lachny uh, I think I've said that right he is a Slovakian striker from Dundee United 86 pace from um, uh, sorry six foot tall three star skills three star weak foot 1800 coins this guy is so, so good. Absol I, honestly, I really can't get over how good he is. He's probably the best bronze player I've used on this game. He's very good on the ball, um, but he just seems to just drive through defenders. He seems a better version of Inform Habibu, who I used, him in my, uh, used in my last squad builder. He just towers over the defence. He's very, very good in the air, and he scores a ton of goals you can see 14 goals in eight games so i thought i'd explain a little bit why i'm saying eight games one of the games was someone quitting against me and two of the games were the worst games i've ever played on fifa if you follow me on twitter you will understand what i'm on about i had 37 shots in one of them the opponent had three and i lost three two the other one i had numerous shots on goal and he had one shot and uh, won one nil, and it was it was just basically FIFA AIDS, and I really couldn't. I was destined from the kick off to not win the game. So excuses, excuses. I'm going to leave this video here, and thank you all very much for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and if you would like to subscribe for more squad builders, I really would ap appreciate a subscription. 
please expect a review on this guy because he is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much all for watching, and I'll see you next time.